Breaking, breaking news. Tory Lanez found guilty on all counts. I'm going to read the article from ABC News and then I'm going to give my opinion. Rapper Tory Lanez found guilty on all charges in the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. A jury in Los Angeles found rapper Tory Lanez guilty on all three charges in the shooting of hip-hop star Megan Thee Stallion on July 12, 2020 in the Hollywood Hills. The jury got it right. I'm thankful there is justice for Meg. Meg the Stallion's attorney, Alex Spiro, told ABC News in a statement after the verdict was announced Friday afternoon. Chaos reportedly broke out in the courtroom after the verdict was announced, with Lane's father screaming at prosecutors, calling them witches and evil, according to Los Angeles station KABC. You two are evil, wicked, Lane's father yells at prosecutors as, as the jury left the courtroom. While Lane's defense attorney is tried to the escalate situation, Lane's was taken into custody. ABC News has reached out to Lane's attorneys and a request for comment was not immediately returned. Since it's in a schedule for January 27th at 8.30 a.m. local time, according to KABC. Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon in a statement recognized the bravery of Megan Thee Stallion, whose legal name is Megan Pete. Pointed to some of the commentary around the case. You showed incredible courage and vulnerability with your testimony despite repeated and grotesque attacks that you did not deserve. He wrote, You face unjust and despicable scrutiny that no woman should ever face, and you have been an inspiration to others across LA County and the nation. This case has sparked intense debate over society's treatment of women. And Megan's account of the incident and the intense public vitriol she faced after sharing her story has spotlighted the Protect Black Women movement, which addresses the two-front battle of sexism and racism black women experience in their own communities and in society at large. Even as a victim, I have been met with skepticism and judgment, Megan wrote in an op-ed for New York Times, published on October 13, 2020. There's, no much, there's not much room for passionate active advocacy if you are a black woman. Women, especially black women, are afraid to report crime like assault and sexual violence because they are too often not believed, Gascon said in his Friday statement. It's ridiculous that some people think that the simple phrase, protect black women, is controversial. We deserve to be protected as human beings, Pete wrote in the 2020 op-ed. The jury, including alternates, was made up of nine women and five men, including four black jurors. They deliberated for seven hours over two days before finding Lane's guilty. During the two-week trial, jurors heard testimony from various witnesses, including Pete herself. Pete's former friend, Kelsey Harris, who was one of the four people present when Pete was shot, also testified. Harris initially corroborated details that point to Lane's as the alleged shooter in a September video interview with prosecutors but changed the story on a witness stand last year. A key piece of evidence presented to the jury was a test message Harris sent to Pete's then bodyguard, Justin Edison, moments after the incident, saying, help, Tory shot Meg 911. I don't know why I said that to Justin. I didn't see anything happen, Harris testified, according to Los Angeles KABC. Edison, who was subpoenaed to testify in this case, went missing a day before his testimony last Friday. His father told GMA, but the jury deliberated. His family announced he was located. Witnesses also including police who responded to the shooting, forensic experts who examined DNA evidence on the gun, a doctor who treated Megan's foot, and a neighbor who witnessed the shooting from his home. Pete testified last week that on the night of July 12, 2020, she got out of a car following an argument with Lanes, and as she walked away, she turned her head and saw him with a gun, according to a reporter with Los Angeles ABC station, KABC, who was in the courtroom. Oh, my God. This is just a mess. This is sad. So, pretty much, he was charged in October 2020 with one felony account of each assault with a semi-automatic firearm, carrying unloaded, unregistered firearm in the vehicle, and also... 
he was also charged this month with additional felony accounts. He's charged in a firearm with gross negligence. And he never took the stand during the trial. He pleaded not guilty all three charges. His offense attorneys argued during the trial that the client was not the shooter. And I believe it. He did not shoot that girl. I don't care. It was Kelsey. But here's the thing. There's a problem here. And it's a problem for the prosecution. The appeals are going to be started already. Because he got money. Let me tell you what's going to happen. When them appeals come in, Kelsey still got to testify. And so do Megan. Okay, all the testimony from everybody is going to go into those appeals. Okay, don't think for one second this is over. This is just the beginning. And I said boycott Megan. I mean it, boycott her. I never bought her music or anything. But what she did, lying, knowing damn what that man is sure, she's wrong. And with that being said, I'm out. This is just as foul. This is foul. I'm sorry. I, I think this is wrong. That man did not do that to her. Okay. That was Kelsey. They was having a lover's quarrel. It was argument. And then the whole thing at um, um, Kylie's party. The only one who I think told the truth on the stand was EJ King. And he was for, I think he was either for the defense or I don't know who. But he the only one that told the truth. Everybody else, y'all looking, looking scandalous. But that's all I have to say.